Hello. Welcome to a very curious place. Um, you know, I keep making this video over and over and over again. And I keep overthinking everything. And I've hit the point now where I'm just like, I think I'm thinking of it, thinking too much. I'm putting too much thought into it. And I'm trying to be something that I'm not. And that's a problem. Because, you know, I'm trying to, to be this, you know, this this funny person and, and everything like that. And don't get me wrong, I, I have been told I'm very funny. I have a very odd sense of humor. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to start this off and I am going to post this video. For better or worse. Because um, I'm having that type of day. So for better or worse, this video is getting posted and I'm just going to start it out like this. I have not brushed my hair today. I have been stuck in my house with a horrible migraine, which I still have the remnants of. It's like someone stabbing me like right here in the head with an ice pick and occasionally right over here in the head with an ice pick. So, um, and this has been all day. So this between nausea and just feeling like I just want to throw up stuff that I ate last month has been all day. And the health issues have been getting worse progressively over the last several months. Um, and I've been trying to kind of force myself into just, you know, soldiering on through. But it kind of came to a head yesterday. Um, went to the doctor, um, telling him about the stuff that had gone away and has come back, dizzy spells, trouble breathing. Um, and he took five vials of blood to run blood tests because he doesn't know why I'm so anemic. I have been taking over-the-counter supplements for months. Then he started me on prescription supplements. And I've been taking that for a while now and it's it's not showing any signs of helping. I've even been changing my diet around to up things that have better protein, better higher iron, you know, um, stuff that I don't normally eat a lot of, um, you know, and I've been trying to eat more of it because it just, I, I feel so bad. I really, I feel so bad. And I just, I'm, I've hit my limit and and so today with the migraine and everything, and I'm trying desperately not to take the migraine meds because the migraine meds basically knock me out um, and not in a good way. Um, it's not like, oh, hey, I'll take these and I'll actually get some sleep for a change because, you know, fatigue and insomnia, something I suffer as well. And I'm just like, yeah, I just, I don't want to take it if I don't have to. I don't like taking medicines if I don't have to. Now, I like having it just in case. But if I don't have to take it, I don't want to. So, today has been such a bad day. And it's been on top of other things. And I was actually talking to my aunt just the other day. And she said she was hoping I would have a chance to rest today. And I told her, I said, no. I said, I've got all this other stuff to do. And she said... You just never get time to rest. You never get time to just stay at home anymore. She said, you're always going somewhere. You always have to be someplace. She said, I, I worry about that. She said, you're not getting enough rest. She said, you're running yourself down. And I said, I realize that. Because if I wasn't running and doing errands for me, doing errands for something involving the family, um, I was at work. And uh, I hit the point that I was just... I've been thinking about it for a little bit and then you know the migraine hit and it was just I've had all day to just sit basically in one spot miserable as all get out um, thinking about what the hell am I gonna do and I wanted this channel as kind of like something to kind of take my mind off my life and the huge ass disaster it usually seems to be <laughs> but uh, I'm like and that's still a good idea I still think I need that um, is it always gonna be me talking in a car no no it's not gonna be that I'm getting more comfortable with these things and so as I 
go along, it'll be different. So, you know. But, um, but yeah, so I'm like, I called in this morning, I was supposed to go to a meeting, and I called them this morning and I said, I can't come to the meeting this morning, I, I'll go to the meeting this afternoon, because we were having two, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, so I said, I'll go to the afternoon one. They're like, okay, because I was going to cut my hours back in hopes that that would help. And then, being stuck in the house with this migraine all day, sorry, my head is still just killing me. It's like right here now. And it's just, uh, it gave me a lot of time to think and I'm just like, I came to the conclusion that I can't do it anymore. I'm just all the running, the no sleep, the no rest, you know, laundry backed up at the house. You know, I, I never get to do anything at the house because I'm never at the house. And so I hit the point because I've been wanting to start doing, you know, recording at home. But I'm never at home. I'm always in this car. And don't get me wrong, I love my car. I do, she's a good car. Um, I don't particularly like the payments I have to make on her, but I do love my car. Um, but I, I'm getting tired of just being in the car all the time. I, I really, just really am. I, I never get to just sit still for very long. I mean, if I get one day a week where I get to just stay at the house and never, and not leave, I'm, I feel lucky, you know? I mean, I really do. I'm, but that's so rare these days. And with the health problems, it just seems like it's going to becoming, become more rare as time goes by. So I'm just like, you've got to make a decision you've got to come to a decision, you've got to stick with it. So, I quit my job. And, and it's funny, because as worried as I am about the fact that I just quit my job, which I am, I, you know, I apologize to her on the phone. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna tear up. I don't wanna do that on camera, anyway. As, worried as I am about it it's like someone lifted a weight off of my chest because it's like okay that's one less thing I have to worry about I don't have to worry about being dressed properly to go in every morning I don't have to worry about am I getting up early enough because you know it's 3 30 in the morning early enough to get up to get there because of all the stuff I have to do to get me ready to get the animals ready and get them dealt with before I can leave it, is it enough time? And I hate to, it's odd. It's liberating. Liberating, that's what it is. It's liberating. And I, I realize this now is that since I went back to work a couple years ago, because I was off for like 10 years um, between my health stuff and helping with my niece and nephews when they were really little, um, it, it was 10 years before I went back to work. And I just went back to work like 2015. So three years, maybe, no, not quite three years. But anyway, um, and I look back on it now and I'm like, I didn't have time back then either because I wasn't just dealing with my health stuff back then. I was dealing with my health stuff, my mom's health stuff, my brother's stuff before he moved and even after he moved. So he moved several states away and I was still having to deal with his junk. And then on top of that, I, I was trying to spend as much time with my niece and nephews as I possibly could. Just, I was trying to cram as much quality time with them, in with them while they were little. And I mean, the oldest now is 13, the youngest is 8. So I mean, they're, they're not grown, but they're not itty babies anymore. They're not tiny, you know. Nobody needs their diapers changed. No one's trying to learn how to potty train. You know, no one needs, you know, their white nose wiped, you know. It's, so I mean... It's one of those things where it's like, that's different, you know. I love them dearly. They're not going to forget me if I don't spend time with them, you know. Um, quite frankly, the oldest probably, he's, he's the teenager. He doesn't want to spend time with me much anyway. Um, so, but, uh, you know, it's, it, I never, I haven't had time to myself. You know, I mean, even, even when before I if I was at home I was dealing with somebody else's stuff I was 
looking stuff up for my brother so that he could deal with his stuff. I was, you know, ordering my mom's stuff, my her medicine, making her doctor's appointments, making my doctor's appointments, getting my medicine. And I realize now that I have never just had time to where I can just deal with my stuff and not worry about anybody else's. Now, I, it's not completely clear because I do still have to worry about my mom's stuff, but it's not like it was before. Oddly enough, since her Alzheimer's has hit more, it's in some ways she's actually easier to deal with. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird to say that, but you know, um, it, I actually do have more of a chance of spending more time on my stuff. And I'm just like, I have no idea what to do. I don't. I, I really, really have no flipping clue at all. <laughs> and I mean, so it's liberating because now I know I can devote as much time as I need to getting my health in order, which means, you know, trying to get my anemia under control, trying to get another surgery so I can get the rest of this weight off. Because that is something I touched on in the other videos that haven't gotten posted. I have had weight loss surgery. I have lost 150 pounds. And, you know, I I did that in 2013 and I've been maintaining since then. And I do know from doctor's appointments and checkups and stuff like that, that I've been doing good with that. I know a lot of people that have had the weight loss surgery, they've gained it all back. You know, they lost, oh yeah, they lost, okay, but then they gained it all back. And I've done good. I mean, I haven't made, gained really it back. I mean, my weight does kind of like go up and down, but that's because I have lymphedema in both legs, which causes a lot of swelling. So when the swelling goes up, the weight goes up, you know? Not only that, but with my job, I think in some ways my job actually, as much as I liked my job, I think it it actually caused me more problems there because, you know, I was at a type of job, which I won't say what kind, but I was at a type of job where I just, I went to work and I stayed at work for, you know, the entire time I was there. You did not leave the building. So I had to take everything for the day with me, you know, so foods, drinks. And I had to take stuff that was easy, you know, stuff that, you know, probably not the healthiest. Yeah. So I'm just thinking back on it, looking back, thinking that was really just kind of a weird little sentence there. I, I, I look back on it now and I'm thinking I really didn't do myself any help that way, but there's, you know, I should have been trying healthier. And the last few months I've been trying healthier. Healthy is expensive. I just want to put that right out there. Healthy is expensive. It really is. You know, but I've been trying. But, uh, it's not easy. So, yeah. And I'm actually going to get coffee right now. I know that's not healthy either, but I'm just like, I want coffee. I want coffee and I... I looked in the freezer and I realized that what I was going to cook for dinner, I am, uh, I'm iffy about it. Um, so I'm getting a salad um, instead. Uh, and I'm iffy about it because it's vegetarian Chipotle burgers. And they sound good in theory, but I'm just like, I don't know. <coughs> The problem is you go to these places and everything looks so good and it's just like I just want a salad but that's what I want I want a Southwest salad that's it so that's what we're getting we're getting a Southwest salad
coffee? Yes, can I get a large iced coffee original? I'm sorry, I never added iced coffee. All of it or just the original? Uh, all of it. Okay, then can I get a uh, Southwest salad with grilled chicken? Also the salad, I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, okay. Um, do you have any of the salads? No, ma'am. Okay, well, thank you anyway. And I and I now have to back out <laughs> because that was the purpose of going here was to get the salad so and this is not the easiest thing oh, Jesus I'm gonna die in the jack-in-the-box drive-thru I don't want to die in the jack-in-the-box drive-thru I'm coming out. You're going to have to wait. I don't want to die in the Jack and the Bucks drive through. I don't know what I just hit, but we're getting out of here. Oh, I... That's okay. There's a bump there for that. There's... It's painted red. I couldn't see it. It's fine. It was just the tires. Don't tell me I could have just driven to the drive-thru, couldn't I? That's just messed up. Well, what the hell am I going to get now? <laughs> oh, Lord. I could get a taco salad. Taco salads aren't bad. I could do that. I'll get a taco salad. I will get a taco salad, and then I will go someplace else for my drink, because I still want coffee. I'll go to Jack McDonald's for coffee. Or right next door. They've got a Sonic right next door. But you know what? We're going to go this way. We're going to go to McDonald's. Because they've got my coffee. They do not have salads. Well, they have salads. McDonald's salads suck. <laughs> they do. They're terrible. I hate McDonald's salads. Um, there are not enough veggies on them. Oh, uh, that's why. Mm. Hold that thought. Okay, I don't put um, McDonald's, I don't leave them taping when we go through McDonald's because it takes them so god awfully long. Um, it took him five tries just to get my drink right, and all I ordered was a caramel macchiato. Um, so bless his heart he'll get it um but anyway yeah so that was that's that so but yeah um so I have no idea what I'm doing I have no idea what I'm doing with my life um other than getting my health under control I want to get this other surgery get the rest of this weight off do some other maintenance and stuff to get that taken care of then after I get the weight off I can do something about my knee so, which they won't touch until I get the weight off. So it's like, yay. Um, but yeah. So, I cannot tell you what will be on this channel. I cannot tell you that it will always be amusing. I'm not always going to be backing into stuff in the Jack in the Box parking lot while trying to back out of the drive through. Really need to work on their drive through. Um, it's, it's not always going to be ba me backing into things. If I'm honest, I'm probably going to back into quite a few things. I'm really not good at backing up my car. Put me in a large bus and I can back up anything. Put me in a car and I will hit everything in a heartbeat. But, um, yeah. So I can't say it's going to be amusing. I can't say I'm always going to entertain. I can say that my hair will usually probably be crap. I will rarely have all makeup. Um, I will I mostly try and make sure it's at least brushed, but I'm not going to problem with that either. Um, there will be occasions when I will have large, loud, loud, very loud. Well, they're also large. The biggest one is large, but loud children with me. Occasionally I will have loud animals with me. Um, so it's, uh, I also have a loud sister to go with those kids. She's not big though. She's little. She's like 5'2". So. 
but uh, yeah, so can't promise to entertain, can't promise to look like anything other than myself. Sorry, this is not a beauty channel. <laughs> um, I can promise to be myself, and that's about it. I'm not entirely sure that's a good thing or a rousing promise. I'm not sure about that. That might, that might be just be the disclaimer that says you've been warned. You know, um, so yeah. But, I don't know. So this channel is called A Very Curious Place. I am Heather, or Auntie as I go by on my blog. Um... We do have a Facebook channel, A Very Curious Place. The blog is www.averycuriousplace.blogspot. We also have an Instagram, which is heather.abcp. Um, I do have a Snapchat. I don't use it. I don't. I, I don't. So, um, but I will tell you this. It it's never going to be the same every day. It's always going to be something different. There might be yelling, there might be screaming, there might be crying, there might be laughter, but there's always going to be something. I can promise you that. I cannot promise that you will always like what it is, but I can promise you that. So as I say on my blog, much love for Monty and a very curious place. And as always, stay strange, sweeties.